video is brought to you by me on some information about chemicals that actually work. Not smoke and mirrors, it's actually good stuff. First one, DPF Power Clean. The stuff's legit. I've actually used this myself uh, back when I had a service center. We're working on trucks. Truck came in. We need to do a forced regen in the parking lot with the scan tool. Tried it. No success. Tried it again. No success. Tried it again. No success. Poured this in. Tried it. Success was starting to show. This truck was way low on power because DPF was that plugged up. We took the truck out, took it on a drive. We were going up a hill and we were forcing regen again and poof, out the tailpipe come this massive cloud of black smoke all in one second. Truck cleared its throat, had all of its power back, started to run really good. And we poured this in one half tank of diesel. That's about all you want to do. You dilute it down any further than that. You really don't want to do that. So about a half tank. So, you know, approximately 15, 20 gallons. I would recommend you use this product about every three months. If you own a fleet of vehicles, call and order this stuff by the case. Put this in whenever the tanks are low. Let your guys go out and drive the trucks. This will prolong the life of your diesel particulate filter and save you thousands over the, over the years. So very good stuff, extremely high quality product. I promise it works, not just smoke and mirrors. Number two, common rail injector pressure, uh, common rail injector system cleaner. All the common rails operate under a higher pressure than all the mechanicals. This stuff helps with the pressure and the heat generated by the pressure clean up the entire fuel system. So supply line to the truck or to the CP3 pump, return line going back to the gas tank. The gas tank, everything in the system is going to dislodge itself and land in the fuel filter. It is extremely important for you to remember that I warned you, pour this in a half tank of diesel and at the end of that half tank, plan on changing the fuel filter in the truck. If you do not, all of that garbage that was in that truck will plug up the fuel filter. You will lose power, lose fuel economy, possibly increase smoke because of the lost fuel volume hitting the CP3 pump. So before you pour this in, make sure you have plans to change the fuel filter at the end of that gas tank, all right? Okay, so common rail injector cleaner, what's cool about it? I've actually seen trucks come in running very, very poorly, uh, even six liter Fords that have the stiction problem you pour this stuff in the diesel, 15 minutes later, stiction's gone. If you had a misfire that was possibly just due to contamination, this will dislodge it in 15, 20 minutes, run like a dream again. So extremely good quality product. I believe in it, I trust it. I've sold this stuff for years, used this stuff for years. This is kind of like a sister additive to it. This goes in the crankcase oil on all Huey system trucks. So any high pressure oil system that you're using to actuate an intensifier piston, some of the Caterpillar stuff and 7.3s, 6.0s, eliminate stiction within just a minute. Uh, if you've ever changed your oil, put new oil in, started the truck, yep, I've got oil pressure, yep, the fuel filter, uh, oil filter housing is now full, shut the truck off, pull the dipstick out, and you notice that the oil is black and full of carbon already. You're not surprised because that's how that truck operates. But with this, one time using it for about 100 miles right before you change your oil, you will dump the oil. All of that stuff gets suspended. All the carbon gets suspended in this liquid. That's why there's so much of it. It flows out into the drain pan. You'll, you'll change your oil. You'll check your oil. And the oil is going to be brand new looking again. I would recommend this on all Huey style trucks probably once a year. Uh, it will save you a lot of money on in injectors and fuel system issues. But if anybody out there is having a tough time with cold start ability or just misfire issues in a Huey system truck, try these things two together at the same time. Again, fuel filter right after that half tank and change the oil within about 100 miles of pouring this in. You'll be mind blown on how good that truck runs. Does this work in a common rail? If you've ever blown a head gasket and you get that goo of coolant, water, and oil that is in the crankcase, a couple of tricks you can do. One, you can plug in the engine heater overnight and you'll see like if the valve covers off that all of that goo and that slime with the block being that warm, it just melts, 
goes out the oil pan, you let it drain overnight, and you can get a lot of that stuff out just by plugging in the, the block heater. What you cannot get out, this will dislodge as well. Um, in a common rail that's got dirty, dirty, dirty oil, I've ran this stuff for several thousand miles and hoped that it would act the same way as it does in the Huey system, and it does not. So it will help you if you've ever had a head gasket issue, but it will not really take all of the carbon out. It requires much higher pressure going through the injectors to scrub that out and get it really clean. So at 60, 70, 80 pounds of oil pressure, it doesn't seem to clean quite as well, but uh, I'm not discounting it. I'm just saying that if you've got a head gasket issue, this is probably a good idea. If it's just standard oil dilution, probably not gonna fix your problem. This stuff, I want to make mention of both these bottles and these funnels. The reason that they're designed in this fashion is because a lot of these trucks now have the, uh, the dual door system. So you've got to shove it through the doors and then it starts to, to pour into the tank. Our bottles, this is Dynamite Diesel's uh, injector protector. The reason that we use this bottle and this treatment size is because this many ounces will treat approximately 35 to 50 gallons and give you about eight points of extra cetane. Cetane is diesel's version of octane. The higher the number, the more the energy, the better it is. I have personally been driving several of my own trucks. I go to the, the fuel station, I pour in fuel, I go to drive away, and the thing pops into regen within 15, 20 minutes. And it stays in regen for a very long time. Comes out of regen, I'm like, huh, okay. Minutes later, it goes into regen again. Finally comes out of regen, minutes later, it goes into regen again. Pull over safely on the side of the road. Pour this in, 20 minutes later, your regen problems will go away and the rest of your tank will act like a normal tank of diesel, meaning you're only gonna get one or two regens out of the tank of fuel, not a regen every 15, 20 minutes. I've had that happen to me probably four or five times in my life. Every single time this has fixed that problem. So I do believe in this product and I do believe that as a maintenance product, you can use this stuff like monthly or bi-monthly. Um, it's fairly inexpensive, but it's a really good product. The problem with using it monthly or bi-monthly is you're gonna notice that when this is in the gas tank, the truck seems to sound quieter and run smoother and come off the stoplights better and all those things are really true. So you'll probably become addicted to it and you're gonna want your truck to run that way all the time. So you'll probably end up running this in every tank. This stuff, really good stuff. Freeze fighter, it's currently 75 degrees outside so I don't really feel like I should be talking about this, but in the winter time, you pour this in a tank 35 to 50 gallons, this will give you about 10 degrees colder before freezing point happens. So if your current fuel in the tank is going to start gelling at say minus 20 degrees, you pour this in, fire up the truck, let it mix, this will get you down to minus 30 degrees before gelling begins to happen. So also a really good product that has some cleaning and some maintenance ability in it, but primarily this is just a chemical to keep the thing from gelling up and having you freeze on the side of the road somewhere in the middle of winter. There. Chemicals, dynamite diesel. Just wanted to give you a little heads up, let you know we've got this stuff in the stock and let you know that if you have DPF problems, injector problems, fuel system that was just given a douche of nasty stuff, pour this in and plan on changing filters until the filters stay clean. Crankcase oil, especially in Huey systems, we got you covered. Maintenance product, performance product, cetane enhancer, anti-shell. Anti-gel could save your life. All the prices vary. See them on the website. And for all you dealers out there, hit us up and we'll help you out. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend.